All right, YouTube, today we are going to play Brandon Dalloway's Grixis Shadow. You can, I will link his uh, Twitter post in my, where he did the, the uh, whatever it is, where he did the cyborg guide for this. I will link that in the stream below when I go to put it up on YouTube. But it's basically this, a very similar thing that I've been playing, except he has switched over to Leyline of the Void. Which is like fine. I think I think that if you're going to a Grand Prix, you need Leyline of the Voids because you're going to have to beat Hardened Scales Affinity to uh, do well at a Grand Prix, in my opinion. And and on Moto, Leylines are better than Surgical on Moto because there's more the like the Arclight Phoenix deck and there's more Hardened Scales. So if you're going on like a Moto PTQ or Moto Challenge or like a Grand Prix, I would play Leylines for sure. I, I I have my reservations otherwise with it, but I think that ley lines are very good in that setting. Um, I did try. Uh, so hang on one second. Let me just get through this. We something unique that Brandon has done is he has cut a blood crypt from the main deck to play another scalding tarn, and it, what that does is it helps make up for only playing. Uh, three Mistress Bobbles, which means you delve harder, which is really important in this deck. Like I, I can't stress how how important it is to just be able to set up turn two threats, and he, he's starting to maximize that a little more. Cut a Thought Scour for a Faith of Sleuthing to kind of supplement these Ley Lines here a little bit. And, um, and cut the Anger from the deck, which means that the third red source isn't necessarily needed. We've just played a Radiant Flames. Because the plan, the plan against Dredge is this. Radiant Flames is just strictly better than Anger of the Gods if you play Leyline of the Void in your deck. So, um, but yeah, let's make sure my stream decker is working. If the chat can let me know my, how my stream decker looks. And besides that, we, or my cardboard live, excuse me. Besides that, we are going to jump into the league. And we're going to play some Death Shadow. shall join the league get them play points going on <laughs> the slippery boys oh, some slippery action this stream dude this stream is aka the slip and slide We are the slippery mean. <laughs> no, we're gonna we're gonna try. We're gonna let's let's see if we can hone it in here. The man, the myth, the legend is in the chat. We're playing his deck. Let's see if we can do it some service and play well. We get the psycho slap going on. We're gonna play the deck the way it's meant to be. We're even going to play the right land. We're even going to play the right land here. If I had a GoPro, I would do push-ups for every time Brandon said I punted. But he would just do that. He would abuse that kind of power. I would lose my dad bot, though, which is like a plus and a minus. You'd be ripped. <laughs> I do not want to Skype Mr. Dalloway in on live TV because I don't know how it's going to affect the stream. All right. Gross. So this is one of those, like, we play the... If we are playing against a creature deck, this hand's pretty solid. We need to hit a second land, but it's kind of like 
like, I think this hand is like too good in the matchups where it's good to mulligan. And we just need to knock the top of our deck for a second. And we can always bolt ourselves. Yeah. We're on the play. Did they put us in the draw? All right, we're playing against Jund. God, where's that chase? I didn't want to bolt myself there because uh, I didn't want to bolt myself there because we we're playing a resource thing. Easy mull. Hmm. No, I didn't want to bolt my... This is a resource game. I'm actually going to... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm going to hold this thought seize because there's a chance that my opponent doesn't... Um, there's a chance that my opponent um, plays a creature. I can deal with either of the creatures, and I don't... Like, I want to fetch a Watery Grave, but I'm tempted to fetch a, black, a Blood Crypt also. For that keep. All right, so I really want to. I really do not want to. Like, I could bolt this Tarmogoyf, which is nice, but I really think that I want to fetch a Watery Grave and push the Tarmogoyf. Like, we lose out on kind of like the meme here, but we don't. If we draw a Cantrip, I could get a Steam Vents also, but our hand is very black. Tilt Town USA. All right, what do we got here? All right, we are going to. What are we going to do with this command? I think we're just going to take. Problem is, this scavenging is just like a super problem. Wow, they don't have any black mana. I really don't want to take this scavenging use because we have so many ways to deal with it. I think I want to take. Bloodbright Elf, so that we, if we miss a land drop, we can kill Scavenging Ooze and not get Elfed. Let's see what they're drawing. If they're drawing a basic, if they're drawing a black source, I'm going to think I'm going to Thought Seize the K command. This gives them more information. So they are drawing a black source. So we're going to take out the K command. Assassin's Trophy is annoying, but we have two threats. So let's just get rid of this Corridon's command. We could just take the trophy and then blank them completely. So they played this. They still have the Mire. Gosh. And we're in a little bit of trouble here because they can fire up this ravine. So I actually think we're just going to pass. What we're going to do is we're going to pass, we're going to dismember something, and then we're going to hit another land like a professional, and we're going to Thought Seize this Assassin's Trophy. We're going to Inquisition this Assassin's Trophy, play Death Shadow, and win the game. We're going to take this. God, I'm so good at this game. So they've got Trophy Bolt. I'm not actually sure I'm good at this game. Thought sees the Bolt. Inquisition the Bolt. Play this. They have to just attack with their Scavenging Ooze. They attack with Scavenging Ooze. And Treetop Village. I bolt the village. 
So I actually have to take Lightning Bolt. And I can't play Death Shadow. Because they'll just trophy it. Take Lightning Bolt, Fetch Shock, that doesn't do it. I think we just take this. I think we're dead. We're dead if our opponent plays correctly. Yeah. Ooh, I had to respond to that. Oh, they fucked up. Right? Because they have Assassin's Trophy Swamp Gas. No, shoot. They can just respond. Yep. No, I fucked up. There was actually no way out of this, right? Because I could have gone respond. They have three green sources. I had to do it on their turn. Yeah, we're just dead. I had to do it on their turn, which gives them the go ahead to, to attack with the treetop village. Better matchups where you straight up just. Yeah, I was super dead. Where you straight up just card for card grind, or are you always trying to assemble a threat? Yeah, I'm always trying to be aggressive. All right, so we've got to cut this. How do you board against John Brandon? Let me just board it. Let me just bring up your Twitter post here. We're just going to board the same way Brandon boards. Bant unplayable, LOL. Tron Burn Storm, Brandon John. Minus one stub, minus one faith. The Fluting, two battle rages. You're boarding in two command snap push. Yeah, I'm down with that. <laughs> Gotta count up those blood braids. Oh, Brandon. Oh, Brandon. I would like to play first, and I would like to keep. Hands like this, I like holding up Stubborn Denial and then Thought Scouring because we can either, if they have, like, two things that we want to Thought Seize and they have their own Thought Seize, we can, like, stub, like, if they have, like, Thought Seize Blood Ray Elf and we lead off, we kind of want to, like, trade with the Thought Seize right here and then Thought Seize the Blood Ray Elf. So I really like, especially when we can just Thought Scour anyways, I like having the game develop a little more before we thought sees. I believe this matchup is now that they can reliably kill Gurmag Angler, I think this is hard. Yeah, I think that a uh, kind of like a quick tip in here with Death Shadow, you want to like you want to if you have the option to trade resources with your opponent and develop the game before you thought sees, you should do that, in my opinion. But it shuts off Gore Cascade Raven. Why would creating more dead draws? But it shuts off Gore. Are you talking about Leyline? Oh no, we're memeing. Why would creating more dead draws in lower value plays be bad? Oh, we're just memeing. God, I am so smart. I am not thin. Okay. Because we drew that dismember, we're just going to go like this and we're gonna hold this up here. 
because we can dismember something. All right. Opponent's looking to get that bread. So what is this? Tarmor works a 4-5. This is not good. If we lose this match, I'm going to be so sad now. We're going to take this thing here. Okay, dude. This is kind of gas. Our opponent's down a card. We're kind of down a card without this member, though. All right. We're going to get our shadow surgical. <clears throat> you got it, bud. You got it, man. It is kind of nuts that they could see our hand here and know they can just jam Liliana. Chat, we're going to lose, and this is embarrassing. Me too. Um, we don't want any of these. Because we need the threats. Look at the last card. The last card, we know, there's only one card we don't know about. What are we doing next turn? Next turn, we're pretty, we're pretty much 100% um, K commanding this Liliana. Because they're going to roll down and get Bloodbraid Elf. So I think we're actually just going to thought seize. Oh man, that could be kind of loose. I don't think we can take the life point damage. Like we can go, like we can go fetch basic, go push dismember, then K command bang bang next turn. I think it's our line. I don't think we're going to fire this thought seize off. There's only one unknown card, and if it's a land, then we're, we feel stupid. Wasn't there merit to scouring them? Wow, they're just going up with this thing. Jers. Dude, both teams played hard. They're holding their last card, so the last card's got to be good. So when they go to surgical, K command gets this on it. I'd have to, I'd have to look back at it, Freed Manny. I don't know which exactly, uh, what exactly we're missing here. And this is something that like we, we, we occasionally get whacked by John because they just they just card quality us out of the game. So they didn't uh they didn't go up with this. So there has to be like something of value in their hand. Like they probably just have a bloodbraid elf, but they're gonna have a bloodbraid elf regardless of what we do. I tend to not, yeah. I don't know, Brandon. I, I tend to not worry about the fetching. Like, I think it's pretty minute, and I want to be able to, like, not take damage. Though I think I'm going to thought seize this card. I might be able to finagle something where I get to nab a K command. Okay. Like, maybe somehow this K command becomes useful. Uh, roll down. Nice. Don't think I take the Tarmogoyf. They took a Goyf. Yeah, it was. I should not have discarded my dismember. That was another pun. Whoa. 
what can we do here? We're just like super dead. I, I have not played this game very well. I've not played very well today. We're going to be 100%. Do I have to kill this? So I can't do anything with my K command? I can't just take a shot from this Tarn Wife. We're just going to get all this crap back. They just go Edict into Bloodbrain Elf, which is just like so bad. We were dead. Yes, we were. But we're going to play it out. Keep, keep it going. Jesus. That's an egregious play. Oh, it makes their it makes their well no their Tarmor Wife was just lethal anyways. So they they hit lethal on the board, they just rolled this back. Alright, I yield. Man, I don't hate Scout when you're when you draw Grimad and you want to be able to play it, but who cares? Yeah. <laughs> and then sometimes like you you do lose to Jund because they just have like with with like when Jund does its thing and it curves out, it just has such high quality cards that it's tough to beat. Like they just kind of like I don't know if we have any little siblings in the chat, but if you've ever had like your big brother like nuggy you and go like this, it's just like they just like hold you down and make you the boy. Could a third grave or a third time be defensible? I think so. If you scour bottle. It's so difficult to queue up with the chat and play. You guys remember when I was talking about like we're playing Brandon's deck? We're gonna we're gonna do it right. Let me just get the Breaks beaten off of. That deck there, Brandon, is part of the reason why I like the Jace on the board. Like, obviously, that's super results oriented. And if they can last hope back Bloodbraid Elves, anyways, then, like, we're not, we're, like, even Jace isn't being last hope plus Bloodbraid Elf. We'll keep this. And we're going to lead off with a Thought Seize here. And I'm going to fetch. Fetch shot. Um, like, like you're never beating Bloodbraid Elf Liliana Chains, regardless. Got to restart, yeah. But I do, I do like having another card to help that match up. God, here we go again. This is the black green one. Oh, that was stupid. I should have taken Tarma Wave so I could snap. Yep, yeah, that was loose. That was very loose. That was very loose. Should have taken Tarma Wave so I could snap Thought to Seize Liliana. Didn't matter because we're gods. This right here, like, there's there's definitely a line where we end up snap serum vision next turn, and it's gonna feel good. I actually agree with taking Liliana. Yeah, we're playing some shadow. Like, sure. And now we're just we're just going to snap serum visions next turn, which is gonna feel snap serum visions here is gonna feel nice. 
because we don't have anything we want to trade with. And going like, if my opponent plays Bob, we're going to bolt it and hold up Thought Scour. But we're probably going to Thought Scour on our main phase. I think it's a little greedy to take Liliana when we have no answers to Goyf and no shadow of our own. What is this? Oh, it's a Delvaruski. Now I want to... So you have Assassin's Trophy, Field of Ruin, Swamp. I don't, I'm not really wild about um, going Snap Seer Visions now that they have a threat and can just sit there and field us. Like, I kind of want to just Serum Visions now. This thing's a problem. Like, we need to find a threat. And if we snap these and make the two really on or something, we feel like idiots. Yes, for sure. I'm going to Serum Visions now, I think. Because, like, well, Serum Visioning is... Because we have the Thought Scour, we can draw the card and a card that's immediately, like... But there's no card that's immediately great here. This is kind of tough. I think we're going to snap Thoughtseize, get this trophy out of here, and then try to manipulate something where we can block and bolt this, or we can set up something with our cantrips next turn. Because if we take this Thoughtseize and we take this trophy, then either one of our two big threats are also good against this Tassiger. Now nothing that we do is really good against the Tassiger, as long as they have this trophy in play. Big brain Dalloway coming in there hot. Ooh, they're getting a little monkey. Looking for a little monkey business over here. And this deck doesn't have reach, so we can afford to go to three. I guess we can't really. I mean, we're going to fetch. Like, we're probably going to need this mana anyways. And we're going to get a... Steam vents tapped so that we don't get cut off red. All right, there's our boy. Put on the bottom. Put on the bottom. Um, this kind of telegraphs. If they draw a removal spell, then I'm going to want to bolt this anyways. So this is what we're going to do. You think we should have held Tarn? In before Field of Ruin, Basic Mountain, Lightning Bolt. Don't you speak like that. Okay, so this means they drew something. Tilt. Oh, that's nuts. That's so nuts. They get to get they get to do some monkey business too. Oh, that was the stone cold nutter butters. Blech. Oh, that was gross. We needed them to not be able to attack with Treetop Village that turn, but they could have just attacked with Treetop Village next turn. My opponent's draw wasn't even that good. It just kind of lined... I guess they drew Tasker when they needed to, drawing Treetop and drawing Fatal Push and drawing Trophy was all kind of a problem. But that's just kind of the problem with this deck, is that their just card quality is off the chain, and it's tough to contend with sometimes. But we don't want our Ley Lines. For the same way... Yo, we've been shown the door in games, in three games so far here. It's been a one-sided beating. We have not been swinging the hammer. Don't mind the green-black matchup. I usually beat it. Yeah, dude, Bloodbraid Elf is... 
Ooh. That's the thing. When Jun's draw comes together, they're just gonna out. They're just like literally. They're just gonna like beat you. Like they're just gonna, and it's gonna feel like it's gonna feel like your big brother holding you down the on the whatever it is. It's gonna feel like your big brother holding you down on the um out at recess and just giving you a wedgie because they just beat the beat the absolute brains off of you. Another thing that's also worth, and you know, oh, this is kind of gross. This is kind of gross, but I really don't want to mulligan against this deck. I want all of my cards. It's a little, I mean, it's gross, but like, I just don't want to mull. We got to remember they're also playing Field of Ruin. Yo, they put a card on top. We just big brain it. Uh, we gotta we gotta do our thing. I don't think so. I'm gonna fire this thought scour off now because I want to have I want to have my graveyard stock so that we can set something up next turn. They're likely going to take the Snapcaster Mage no matter what we hit here. And I think it's just good to have, to make sure that our, well, no, I guess if we're going to, they're going to take the Snap, that was stupid. That was all stupid because they're going to take the Snapcaster Mage no matter what. I might as well not give them the information unless they have two discard spells. They have two discard spells. They might take the Thought Scour to slow, my, to slow me down. This means they have two discard spells. So now I'm going to cycle this. There's no reason, like I, I can just push a thread here anyways, so let's not give them the information. Yes, that was terrible. No, no, I, I as soon as I talked it out, I determined it was terrible. I just didn't want to give away the information, Brandon. This is odd, they left me with a Snapcaster Mage. So I'm going to just snap Inquisition here. I'm going to get, I think I'm going to get a Watery Grave. Like it kind of shuts us off from our Lightning Bolt. Defense is so bad. Blood Crypt's kind of bad. But we're actually, no, we're just going to get Blood Crypt because we're not snapping back a blue spell. This is very odd that they left me with Snapcaster Mage and didn't have another land. Didn't have another discard spell. Unless their hand's just nuts and they can power through this. Yeah, this is just odd. This is a very odd play from our opponent here. It's a decay. Yeah. Uh... Let's just keep our graveyard stocked. No big deal. No big deal. Dangle that angler. Dude, this channel, we get nasty with Germasty. That is what we are doing, everybody. They didn't play their field. God, I hope they just play something. Okay. They're not giving us a target. 
for our disk members, a little sad. They might just fire this thing up and block. But playing our shadow isn't like super important because of this abrupt decay. I don't really know what's going on. No, we get nasty with our fish. We do get nasty with the stubby D though. Story of my life. I think I'm just gonna bolt them. Oh, what a tilt. They should not play this. Seven. They were dead anyways. It was so stupid. I'm playing so loose. They're just dead anyways, but like, I should have just let them, like, I did my math there. I'm like, oh, they're at eight. Bolt them. This is lethal. They're going to take two from the Thotsies anyways. Yeah, dude. So I'm playing against Kellen. We've seen two Assassin's Trophy decks. I was playing against uh, Kellen Past Castor, who's who's on Twitter. You should check him out. He posts all of his yeah, Kellen Pastor. He posts all of his deck things. He's a very nice guy, very good player. And I'm just doing my thing. We're playing against him. I was like, I was like, I thought sees them on one cycle of the street wraith untapped untapped like cycle of the street wraith. I was like, all right, we're gonna thought scour. I'm gonna fetch a blood crypt and we're gonna get nasty. And he just looked at me. Like I was a little, a little odd to say the least. And I just laughed. I was like, I'm sorry. I was like, I, I, I just say that when I stream and he laughed, we were good. And then he just, then he began destroying me. So yeah, again, we're just going to like hold up here. We're not going to thought seize because we have, any play basically covered next turn, unless they go land Thoughtseize and don't do anything. We could have gone Thoughtseize to protect our Snapcaster Mage. I'm a tad odd. I like to growl. I like to growl at my opponents when I team or battle rage them. Because there's no polite way to team or battle rage somebody. You don't just go like, oh man, team or battle rage. That's just not how that card ever works. All right, now we're going to Thought Seize. We're going to protect our Black Source. Nice. This is the kind of stuff I like to see. This is interesting. Push, snap, push, stub. So here's what we can do. If we take this Liliana, we're hoping that our Snapcaster Mage trades with each one of these two creatures, and our stub trades with this, and we're left them with a pulse. I'm actually tempted to take either the Liliana or the Fatal Push. And if this all goes to hell in a handbasket, taking the Liliana is the card that's going to beat us. Push was my second choice there, Dollar Bang. Dollar, dollar Ding, Dollar Bills. Dollar Duda. So this is going to be a Blood Crypt. We're going to bolt this boy. Four. 
Thoughtseize to hit one of the two. We can snap Thoughtseize, which I'm not super in love with. But I will do it to use my turn here. Snap Thoughtseize puts something on the board and is pretty efficient. And we can handle a Liliana. So I think we're just going to snap Thoughtseize. Our opponent drew a spell, too. This just puts us on the board. We can deal with this Tarmogoyf six ways to Sunday. And this is also just mana efficient. Bang, bang. Now I want to take Fatal Push. Like, if they're going to be clunky, like, if we hit a threat, this is going to trade here, and it's going to be their whole turn. So let's take this push. And now we're just leaning on our opponent. Our opponent's mana screwed. We're going to start making it so that if you want to trade with my deck, you're going to do it at even more of a disadvantage than you normally do. That's a sick draw. That's a good draw. But it handcuffs them. Yeah, I think I think Pulse is the loosest take out of all those cards. But there's an argument to taking Pulse. There's an argument to taking Pulse because if the game goes long, I think my opponent should take Stub. Because we got your dudes covered. You need to be able to kill one of my dudes. Because if I just top deck a Gurmag Angler, the game's over. If we get nasty next turn, things are going to get nastier for my opponent. Yep. All right, let's just hold that. God, I hope they pulse this Snapcaster Mage. If they pulse this Snapcaster Mage, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Little big boy. Do they pulse? I'm gonna have a little moment if they. If they pulse my uh, Snapcaster Mage. We even have Liliana covered. Like Liliana is actually a bad draw for our opponent. It's not it's not terrible. It effectively trades with a lightning bolt. You think I have too much pride to lose the snap beats? God give me this. Please, please pulse my Snapcaster Mage. Oh, yeah, we're on the hold lands land. Really got a last hope and we're dead. Okay. It's a big boy. I think I'm still all about. Well, this lets them get a two for one off the pulse. Now oh, this was kind of loose. This was loose. This was loose. I, I had Snapcast Mage on the stack before I started thinking, and I played a land. We just made two mistakes. Real talk. I think now I'm not going to win the game with a 2 1. Uh, we're so, uh, let's just keep, let's keep a little bit of pressure. Let's lean on them.
So effectively, our snap, our bolt trades for the push because the snap traded for something. I don't think we're going to be able to want to do this. We're going to do this on our opponent's upkeep. Because I just, I don't think, like, if we hit a K command, it's pretty insane. I think we're going to do this now. I think we have enough good shots. Like, we could hit K command. What can we hit? We can hit Kolagon's command. Would be nuts. But we don't hit Kolagon's command. It's not great. So let's just, let's just, like, play conservatively. Well, that worked out. So they can Thoughtseize trades for Dismember. Dismember trades for Scavenging Ooze. Then I draw two cards. And that takes a turn off of their clock. Full Retail. Okay, they're gaining life, which takes a clock. They should have eaten my Snapcaster Mage. That was a little loosey goosey. What do we got? Stub Street Raid. I think this Street Wraith is better than a random draw now that we hit this Stubborn Denial, because if we hit a creature off of this, then this Stubborn Denial is like just one man in a gate. And we have to take three damage to play this Street Wraith. I'm going to cycle this thing. Whew. Am I good or am I good? Halo theme song intensifies. I appreciate everybody for being here today. We're four hours and 45 minutes into the stream. So we've been playing a lot of magic today. My wife just asked me if I was almost done. Give me one second. Hi, everyone. You should always cycle there because no guarantee that it could win. I'm very proud of you. Thanks. My wife is not proud of my speed. She told me to get paired against Storm. This hand wasn't that great. I was kind of talking to the chat when I was thinking about this. This hand's just not super good. Let me see if the Snapcaster Mage is good against my opponent or not. Birds of Paradise. I'm going to go with it's good. When did you graduate from Clarkson? Uh, winter of 2015. We're going to hope that a lightning bolt, I can pair a lightning bolt with this. Nice. Wow, that's just nuts. I think luck sacking into the perfect card is my is my thing. Yeah, dude. The joke is at Clarkson you can graduate without learning to read. Yeah, that was the nut.
If we just snap back this dismember, whew. I studied environmental health science. Oh my God, dude. I mean, I'm, my work practice is an industrial hygienist. Are we fetching down to seven, down to three, two turn clock? I'm pretty down. Six, nine, it's it's the same damage either way, actually. So if we go shock, dismember, eight. No, it's not a two turn clock. If we go fetch shock to eight, dismember to four, it's nine. And then like they have to block this shadow for the rest of the game. Brandon, you're such a bully. Are you convinced he's crazy? I am crazy. There's a lot of thought seasons. There's a lot of there's a lot of uh, whatever that dumb card is. Which is more than I usually do with Dylan's ideas. Am I shocking myself? Probably. Yeah, dude, block it. And then we're gonna play Gurmag Angler and have stubborn denial up. Or I should have probably attacked with that Snapcaster Mage because then it was lethal next turn. There's derped out. I was worried. I sat there. I thought to myself, like, dude, what if they have like a Fiend Hunter? That's literally what came to mind. I don't know. I literally like freaked out. I was like, we want to angler Dylan. I was like. I was like, dude, what if we get Fiend Hunter? You're at like 10 push ups. All right, dude. Do we want to lose a double path? Am I about that life? I think so. They don't main deck path. Do not attack at all. Are you guys just trying to watch me lose? This probably means they're about to company me and then lose. Yo, you guys see this? If if we would have attacked with our Snapcaster Mage, they'd be dead through a company. I just wanted the world to know that. Deal. Oh man, a little nervous. We're getting nervous. Not really as nervous anymore. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Put counters on everything. Block, block, go to one. I mean, it's okay. Like they're they're super in the abyss, but like if they play whatever the dumb dude is, we're just dead as a doorknob. But at least we can beat anything but exactly Vizier.
Yo, Brandon, if we had Jace in our deck, we could have brainstormed for an answer there. Game one. Imagine if we had Jace in our main deck for all of these game ones, how gas it would have been. All right, so if they had the Vizier, we'd be dead. <laughs> Yo, was the big brain move to not play Shadow last turn to let the Duskwatcher through the flip? <coughs> I kind of think it was. deal kind of deal if they have land plus vizier so have nothing but skill see look at that i mean we, like in all reality we drew like garbage this card is just that broken All right, so I don't think you talked about this, Brandon, but let's just do some thinking here. How would you sideboard, Brandon? We're playing your deck, so why don't you chime in here? My brain says... That's what my brain says. Is it? Wow, dude. You have such good content. Add the company. Stub, Gurmag, Faithless. Okay. So you don't bring these in. Nope. And you leave... One of these, or you leave one of these in, and one of these in. You're leaving in three Gurmag Anglers when you're bringing in Grim Lava Mancer. I think you said you cut raids. No, you literally, you don't bring in, you don't bring in the fourth Snapcaster? Huh. All right. We have to have words about this. Passionate words. I did cut I okay. This is how you do it. This is exactly how you do it. I think we have to have words about this. I would have had much more radical sideboarding. Peter. I just want anything in my deck that trades and that allows me to continue trading until I kill them with a 9-9. Nine -nine. Um, I don't actually think we want another one of these, though it's just another way to trade. But I'm going to bottom it. Ooh, they did not keep a one drop, and they kept seven. We're going to hold that for when we draw Serum Visions. I'm fairly certain we want this to be Blood Crypt. But I'm going to start on Watery Grave because I don't necessarily want to get us in there. I would have kept that second thought if I had a, the old Slim Shadow. There's a 90% chance that's a Blood Crypt. But I would like to... Wait until I have to determine if it's a Blood Crypt or not. Worship. 
Mirren Crusader. Wow, all these cards are good. Like, yikes. I kind of want to take Mirren Crusader. You know, Brandon, you can take your results-oriented thinking and shut up. So this is problem number one. These two things are problem number two, and this is just going to like suck. But I do think we have to take this, or this thing will be our face again. The other two are big problems. <clears throat> I would have snapped it off if I had a shadow for sure. It wouldn't have even been thought. I, I thought it was close. Now knowing, now knowing they worship in their deck, yeah, it's, we probably could have hedged. I think worship's an odd card to sideboard in here, though. Give me something to do. God, I'm so good at this game. God, and we're not going to get got by this uh, Sin Collector either. I think the Worship's a future problem. I'm so good at this game. I shocked in there because I'm not exactly sure. This is probably better to have around for removal. Dude, the smartest and the thinnest. I'm like the Tom Brady of magic. No, I'm the Tom Brady of being smart and thin. This worked out. Yo, Brandon, you did, did you guys know that guy that, um, what's his name? That perfection dude? Do you guys know him? You guys roasted him. I will happily play your GDS or Quintus for that. I feel GDS is a great matchup. Perhaps you're playing bad control players. Perhaps you're just playing against bad shadow layers. <laughs> oh, man. Was he the deck to No, the guy on Twitter. Deal. That's annoying. The deck thickening guy. That's kind of who rips. Dude, don't you dare say that about Tom Brady. Do you want to get timed out? You say one more negative thing about Tom Brady, I'm timing you out, Teddy. That's the easiest way to get timed out in this channel. Talk smack about Tom Brady. You're gonna be sick of Battle Rage. 
That's not bad either. I know it's attacking. Like, they're not going to block. If they do, I'll just dismember it. Right click attack. Like, let everybody know that the real MVP of the stream is my wife. As she has put up with the monopolizing of the living room for the last five hours and five minutes. Yeah, here we're just going to put the pressure on. Oh, G Dog 64, thank you very much. All right. Take that. Does anybody else want to start talking smack about Tommy B? My boy Tom? Oh man, I deleted all their messages? You guys actually had pretty good messages. Now I feel stupid. Oh man, now I feel dumb. Because all the chat, the chat with them was so good. And now it's not as good. <laughs> Bans two people immediately. It, or times two people out immediately. Feels bad about it. I don't feel bad for timing Teddy out. Teddy said, all caps, Tom Brady sucks. That's just offensive. First time catching you live. Thanks for your streams. Your streams are helping a lot, brother. Hey, no problem there, GDog64. No problem. But I enjoy your stream. That's okay. We're just sending it in here. Where is this? File same as. My opponent is playing at a cat like speed. I'm very similar. I'm going to do this now. Oh, shoot. I'm going to do this now because I don't want them to top deck a... Well, turn off auto yields. I guess we can just do it in their upkeep. It doesn't really matter. I don't want them to top deck a whatever it is, a Gavany Township, and be able to just infinitely block with this Kitchen Finks. This is why I, I do like a little bit of K command action against this deck because I do think that the games just do go long because you you load your deck up to go long. Now we're just gonna full retail this angler. We're going to leave our fetch land. Uh, we don't need Thoughtseize. We don't need Street Wraith. 
We don't really need dismember. I'm just gonna play this land too. going in for max damage here. And this is what you do. Whenever you battle rage, you growl at your opponent. Because there's no polite way to battle rage somebody. You can't just be like, excuse me. Um, they're actually just dead without the battle rage. So you can't be like, excuse me. I'm just going to battle rage you. You have to just, You have to mean it. It's so awkward saying good game, like shaking hands, good games with somebody after they, after they, you battle rage them. Cause like, I'm just kind of like, yeah, gotcha. We already got paired. Okay. Hopefully we finish these two matches quickly. Just one match. Get two more. I would like to play first. Heater. We're gonna hold our street wraith. This is like a this is what like a bro, like a potential broken shadow hand. Like like this hand is the absolute stone. Like there's an argument to just not even thought seizing to just go to dismember. But that's a pretty loose argument. Them hollow boys. What do they do? They put a card on the bottom. Yeah, I'm just going to take one of these hollow ones because make so they can't cycle into something that's effective. Wow, dude. What a beast. I ditched my shadow. Now we can't win. God, they're going to be able to get one hollow one into play. So we're going to dismember this. I'm going to cycle this. Nice. Dermag Angler, Dermag Angler. One, two. This Dermag Angler is no good. I think the second Angler is not good. Because the second Angler is just... So the second Angler, we're going to be able to cast one, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine with three mana means we have three left over. It's probably worse than a random draw, but play this. I actually should have. No, I did this wrong. I should have bobbled. No, I knew my top card. Never mind. Should have also done that in my upkeep. Now that we banned Brandon, I'm just going to start playing really slow and really bad just to throw him off. Blood gas, nice. It's one hasty boy. A flame blade adept's not bad. Nice. One, two. And let's just play this tapped. Oh, sorry, so I'm trying to go like this. The Flame Wake Phoenix. Lava Man. Lava Man's interesting. So we attack for 12. We can't even really attack because we have to hit like lightning bolt in order to make this attack good. But we're not going to win not attacking. So we're going to take three, five, down to eight. Untap, bolt this, block this. 
We're not going to win by not attacking. We're not playing a fetch land. We're in a tough spot. But I don't think we're winning this game playing slowly. And this makes Lightning Bolt a live draw off the top. And if they, for some reason, shock themselves, then the Angler's live. I don't know why they would do that, but... Ooh, Lightning Bolt's not even live. Because, actually, it's, it's live this turn if I draw it and they don't have another land. So, Lightning Bolt. So as it stands, we're going to one. Let's just hope our opponent bricks. Maybe that attack was loose, because if we do exactly top deck Death Shadow, then we're probably going to win going away. That kills me. Yeah, that was loose. I wanted to put myself in a position to maybe win because I was so far behind. And then the Death Shadow puts me so far ahead if something bad happens. Take it easy, The Unseen. back yeah yeah, 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 I was very far behind. The Death Shadow put me very far ahead, so I don't, I don't know. It was probably loose. I'm gonna go with it was loose. Hollow one minus two fatal pushes. Begin sideboarding minus two fatal pushes minus one snap catch mark minus two street rage minus two. Okay, minus one snap. Minus two I OK. One, two, seven. I need to cut two fatal pushes. Yeah, it, it was kind of weird. I, I went from trying to give myself the best chance I could win to effectively drawing dead because, well, not drawing dead, but drawing, <clears throat> drawing super thin to drawing to playing to an out that I thought was my best out <coughs> where I hit my best possible draw or one of my best possible draws and it didn't win me the game because of how I attacked, which is, I guess you can call it justice. Sounds pretty good. A little loose against the ley line from my opponent. This is also where, like, I don't, should I mulligans? I don't know. Here, I think we just take... We're going to take Gurmag Angler, I think, because if my opponent brought in Thoughtseize and they hit a Thoughtseize, I don't want to have to deal with this Angler. I'm going to take Goblin Lord next turn. But like Gurmag, uh, like knowing there's a Gurmag angler there is not as scary as like the potential of a goblin lore, I think. Flood crypt into flaming boy. Okay. Nice. So what do we got here? Put five. We'd have to hit super well to do this. So I think we're just going to go Thought Seize, Thought Scout at the end of their turn. Yeah, 
So Tasker is very annoying. We're basically giving them a Tasker now, but our angler is going to check that. I guess we don't quite do that. I'm not going to go, well, no, because they, they get to fetch. I don't really want to snap this Street Wraith off unless I have to. They fetch, and then they delve it all. Here comes Taz Daddy. So they have double push. So Death Shadow is not a great draw. Braid is not bad. One, two, three, four, five. So now we can abrade this and just brick wall this. And we will faith this looting next turn. We're getting a little low on life, but we do have the biggest thing on the board. So faith this looting is not going to be bad. It's going to be able to get rid of. Uh, I'm going to take one because hitting a hollow one is pretty nice. They, I don't think they have lightning bolt left in their deck. We, we are in double bolt range, but. I am going to deal with this because it's so difficult to block. It's a tilt. It's more of a tilt. What did I miss? I made food during my timeout. We did not win game one. We went from like playing to our outs, trying to play to my outs, to having that being the worst draw in my deck. It was odd. Great use of your timeout. Yes, it was. All right. So they're still holding two fatal pushes. That's not bad. I kind of want to keep this a braid, but I wouldn't mind being able to bolt something. I think the odds I'm going to have to bolt something next turn are pretty low. Dude, we got the old Gurdad going on. My opponent's hand's double push. We're going to flash that looting back. Jokes on you, opponent. I boarded out my Death Shadows. So he's still a double push. Nice. So now I can attack with one because I can snap a braid this. I could. I have a I have my swap. I could attack with both. That loses to. I attack with both. If I attack with both, they're in the double abyss. I'm going to attack with both. Attacking with both doesn't really lose to me a lot because even if they play whatever it is, um, Flame Wake Phoenix, I just flash it in and then block. Yeah, I'm attacking with both. I don't think they have a draw that punishes me here, Brandon. Unless they kept Lightning Bolt in.
I actually think this is great. Even without, I think that this block was great. We have Snapcaster or Bray to deal with this um, hollow one. They have two fatal pushes in their hand. I think this attack is, I think this attack is gas. I think this attack can only go well for us. They don't attack Bolt Snap Bolt. I didn't even think about that. And that was just game. I don't think. I don't think I left my uh, opponent dead. Like, what, what? Like, are you talking about Flame Wake Phoenix? Flame Wake Phoenix into push? Is that what you're talking about? That's not bad. And they're going to get Flame Wake Phoenix back next turn. Well, that wins me the game. Block takes seven. Yo, let's not get gut shotted. Like, if they kept Lightning Bolt in, or they went exactly land, push, Phoenix, then I was in trouble. Versus, I think, ending the game. Because, like, what if they just, like, faithless looting? They can, like, looting into the nuts, and then I'm behind again. Like, I like limiting their draw steps. But that's just how I'm going to play the game. Because I think they have a series of draws where they can kill me through, where they can, like, take up some inevitability, I think. You don't change play draw. They could looting into something like ditch, get more flame wake phoenixes back. You'd rather play around that. They could get more flame wake phoenixes back, which we beat flame wake phoenix uh, if it's cast full retail if they don't have another land. And they could ditch like some blood ghasts. They could like access their delve. I think there's a way that that goes bad for us. I think it's better to just like step on their throat while they're down. Which I'm just always like, like if it's close, I'm just going to look to limit the draw steps every time. By attacking with one, having Gurmag Angler, black, they attack, block, they play two Phoenixes. Double Phoenix. Double Phoenix. They draw looting. Double Phoenix. They have they have one mana. They're out. Okay. Hmm. Maybe maybe you got I think you got it, Brandon. I'm going to put this on top because it's going to set up Angler. <clears throat> so let's wait and see what they do here. I really don't want to fetch a Steam Vents. I really don't want to go Steam Vents into Thought Scour, but I think I'm going to. Like, I'm not going to block this. You can deal me one. I think I might go get Steam Vents, as sad as this sounds. Gas. Bolt you, bolt that. Go get Watery Grave, you're dead. At least you're basically dead. Yeah. 
Yo, Brandon. Jace. Jace is bad in this matchup. That's your probably how this deals against this deck. Oh. They got some fight. Uh, one more. Not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna let them go up to have them ditch another card so I can ditch this ley line, make their deck worse. They ditched the Gurmy. Hollow Boy. Hollow Boy. Uh oh. Oh, the the plus let them do that. Hmm. So let's think. If I go Shatter Rebuy Angler. Bolt the Liliana. There's what? There's three cards in my grave. There's four cards in my graveyard, five cards in my graveyard, so I can play it. So we're going to shatter Rebuy the Angler. Return. Return target creature from your hand. Grave of your hand. Destroy target artifact. Yeah, exactly. We definitely screwed up, though, in hindsight, not killing this thing. That's just nice. We can still just do everything. I'm going to put this lightning bolt on top. I think I like this matchup with Leyline, but if they want, if they're gonna board this, then I think we're a dog. Uh, I probably shouldn't have kept Lightning Bolt. Uh, Lightning Bolt kind of holds. Holds everything else down. It's like a very medium draw that's like pretty good if things go bad, but like doesn't really do a lot. You should talk to talk to Brandon about it. There, Grodag the Dalawab in there. We're playing his list. I think, for my record, I think Leyline is the way to go if you, especially if you're expect if you're expecting a lot of hardened scales. If you're not inspecting a lot of hardened scales, then I don't mind not doing it. Um, there's a chance we want a double red. Nice. I don't like surgical zone in my line. I, I think it's totally defensible to play surgical extraction. If you think if hardened scales is a lot of your meta, I don't think it's acceptable to play surgical extraction. One, two, three, four. I can shock and get nasty. I don't really like shocking. Let's just like cool it. Their hand's probably full of pushes. Maybe some bolts. Like next turn we can play angler. I didn't even check to see what we had for land, which was loose. That's nice. Bobble OP. Faithless Living. I think we're attacking. We're attacking. We're going to play Gurdad and have Bolt up. We're going to leave the Steam Vents. My opponent wants to trade. They can. Now they're in the Abyss. They're in the Abyss through creatures. Dude, Bobble's just like Dark Ritual draw a card. Bobble's so good.
You're not casting this looting. They just drew faith this looting. They're not casting that before combat. I would have cast that shit before combat. So they're out of hollow ones. They have one more. So if I attack with both, if I attack with both, I'm dead to both. They, they ditched a bunch of fatal punches. If I attack with bol both, they have to chump with one. They can attack back and bolt kills me. If I attack with one and they double block. If I attack with one versus attacking with two, it's the I lose the exact same things. It's, I think it's better, so I'm going to be attacking with one versus attacking with two is the exact same scenario, except they're at four. So I'm going to attack with both. If they double block, which looks like they're going to. Was that lightning bolt we kept on top of our deck? Why does your opponent fall for the same shit every time? Well, they, they, they can't. They kind of have to, right, Brandon? Like, aren't they kind of... If I attack with both of those, what are you going to do? Are you just going to, like, not block? You have to block. You have... Like, you have to. Are you just chump blocking? You're just throwing... Died to revenge swing bolt. We didn't see a lightning bolt in their deck after game two or three. I don't think it's in their deck. I think that, like, I just want to press my advantage. They have a lot of little derpy creatures that could hit, like... I know blood gas isn't that good. I guess they hit any of their derpy creatures. Like it's their derpy creatures versus the top of our deck. But like that attack is just good, right? Because that attack either they just throw away an angler, or they just throw away one of their um, one of their um, hollow ones, or there we kill we trade Gurmag Gurmag Bolt for two hollow ones and they're in the abyss for the rest of the game. But I put them in a like yes I'm I'm ahead and I'll agree with you Brandon but I'm putting myself further ahead. This hand's a nine. Um I'm putting myself even further ahead. And I'm putting them in the abyss for the rest of the game. So this is not good. I think I'm going to shock and just hope there's not two blood moons. Because, like, we just need to get this shadow in play. All right, we're just gonna take this. I would, oh God, taking this lightning bolt feels so loose. What do they do? They keep on top. They kept on top. I'm gonna take this ritual. We're gonna do the sketchiest thing of all time.
I'm just gonna bolt myself. They go to bolt this thing. We're absolutely stone cold doing ensnaring bridge here. Oh, this is like the this is the Steam King deck. The Arclight Phoenix deck. That's a nice draw. Now we're just gonna hold off. I thought we were playing against like Mono Red Prison. I guess like we might as well. Cause it lets us play Gurmag Angler next turn. I want to play Angler next turn. I could just bolt them. What are they accomplishing? They're not really a cop. They're kind of spinning their wheels here. I'm flashing the Snapcaster Mage in, though. The Snapcaster Mage isn't going to do anything. This snap is EOT and baby. Let's get closer to the Bedlam boy. Cause we're just gonna like, we're just gonna delve this thing out of here. Do this now. How do we lose? Attack for six. We lose by like some weird ass faithless losing thing. I think I'm just gonna bolt one of the phoenixes. I probably shouldn't have even done that. That was stupid. I should have just passed. That was a punt. Nope. Yeah, the pump, the scour was wrong, Brandon. Because I should have scoured like now. Yeah, no, the scour, the scour was no bueno. We're just not even gonna do that. I guess we kill them. Glad I slowed down there. I almost like sped through that just on autopilot. Like, there's no way we lose the game anyways. Do you sideboard? Do you make the guide for this, Brandon? Look for the Phoenix deck. Tron, John the Mirror, KCI. Mono Red Phoenix. Four lay line. Four lay line won't stop. Let's see what we're doing here. Do you board the same way against the blue red Phoenix deck? You probably don't cut a push, right? Yeah. Because of the old thing. Okay, sorry, I said 100%. I figured it out. Do you bring in another push and like cut a bolt? This is going to be the last match of the day, guys. Hopefully, we win this game. We get out of here. I really appreciate everybody for showing up. We had a great stream today. We've got three leagues. All three leagues are going to be on YouTube. Followers are following the stream. Guess. So I think I think this mono red version of the deck's bad. All right, let's just make sure we don't get mooned. I'm gonna I'm gonna bore. I'm gonna actually get an eye. I get a swamp. Cause now let's just start checking the list here. Yeah, 
yeah, dude, if you want to play, if you want to just turn into a shitty burn deck, you can turn into a shitty burn deck. I'm just going to get Island. Like, we're not going to get Blood Moon. We're looking for a Gurmag Angler. Like, whatever. Let's just trade resources. Like, I can just go, like, Snap Thoughtseize next turn. And then they either bolt me, bolt my snap. Like, let's just play this game on. Let's, like, we, we blanked half their deck. Let's just trade resources. I like snap thought seizing here with the intentions of snap visionings here because I think that we're just going to like, oh, this is bad because of fiery temper. Oh no, no, fiery temper is madness. Oh my God, this is so stupid. This is so bad. That's so bad. That just went over my head. That was a pun. That was a super pun. Now I had to take that not to die. Nope. No, snap serum is way better than snap thought seize. You're hundred percent right. Now we just had to take a dead card. Yeah, that was just not good. And now we're at like a virtual two. We could lose this game because of your boy in Punt City. Nope, like that that was just straight up tossed it right there. Forgot about the madness on this. Let's see if we can make our way out of it. All right, that should help. not fine because this is an incredibly winnable game that we're just about to toss here they have one fiery temper that we know about yeah 25 push-ups we do this every stream i'm going to get in shape I deserve to lose this game. 100%. I'm going to bolt my opponent so that I can... Like, we're going to fetch here. I'm going to bolt them so that I can play Gurmag Angler with a Stubborn Denial up. Yeah. No, we deserve, we deserve to lose that. We deserve 100% to lose that game. That was just that was just actually awful. That was actually awful on my part. No, I mean like, I just yep straight up tossed that. Ain't no way around it. That's a little frustrating. I almost want to cut one more of these, Brandon. I think I would put in like an abrade, but maybe that's just being being results oriented. It's probably just being results oriented. All right. Each game lost due to a punt. Plenty. Today's punt count. Only one. Wow. I only have two total punts in my career. MTG bot has a very liberal punt counter. Last match of the day, guys. Last game. Let's see if we can end it up on a good front. Yeah, this hand's pretty solid, I think. It's a turn two shadow with double disruption. That's an MTG bot. Like, we could mulligan down, but this is just super aggressive. This is the tension that Leyline has in your deck. We're going to take one of these, I think. This 
we can't deal with the first one with one of them we just don't want to get quite burnt out so they're going to get that one in one shadow checks that now we can draw a light line of the void so now i think we we could actually take we can't really take we're just going to take this lightning bolt and play a death shadow They'd have to hit, I guess they can hit temper. No, I'm not playing. That was wrong because they can just hit a temper here too. Like they have more than three outs. That was stupid. I played very poorly against this deck, yes. Yeah, no, this is all my fault. Again, son of a gun. Yeah, I guess got worked. I just played like a moron against this deck. Gross. That's going to kill me. Oh, shit. No, I'm just off of it now. I've made the mistakes. Frustrated. Flashing this back. Probably going to ditch another looting to it. We have a Phoenix. Could snap Inquisition them. Which is what I probably... I probably need to just attack their resources to buy me time. I'm not doing anything else to this Snapcaster Mage. I'm just going to like get rid of some resources from them. It's a good resource to ditch. I almost cut for an abrade. There's a very legit chance that I'm just dead here. Another shot. I think that's, yeah. I'm just dead because they fired this off, fired this off. Is doing a 24 hour charity stream? Okay. All right, well, we're done. I lost, I'm very frustrated that I lost game two. I lost game two because I just lost focus and punted here. I think, I think any adequate human being wins game two. I don't even think the shrine should matter. I should have won game two. Let's open up the chest. Let's talk about Mr. Dalloway's deck here. Give my two cents. And then we will call it a stream. We're going to head over to Xanark MTG. Um, let's open up our chest. Our chest we got for everybody to see. Get back over here. Nope, nope. Quantity one. Immune Vault. Exclamation point card. Muta Vault. Oh. E Price. Muta Vault. Oh, nice. What do we got here? We got a Lorwyn one. No, Morning Tide. 3.8 tickets. Okay. So, to kind of sum up Brandon's deck here. I think it's I think it's good. I think this is the ley line build that you want to do. Um, we would have been four one with this deck had I played correctly, and I did not. So like it's not a like going four one is not a they're going three two is not the deck's fault. It's the pilot's fault. If again, I am a big Jace guy. If I am to change anything, I think that the I don't think we would beat the Jun matchup. <coughs> The Jun deck we played against, I don't think we would beat 
we would have beaten their game two draw with a Jace. But I do think if you have a lot of metagame, a lot of uh, black green cards in your metagame, I think that it's a totally fair call in to play a Jace. I think that's your best option. And if I was gonna play, if I was gonna play a Jace to help out there, it would not come from this. It would not come from this. It would likely, I would likely cut a disdainful stroke because the Jace, Jace is better against the blue control decks than disdainful stroke is in my opinion. And with adding faithless looting to your deck, you're, you gain a little bit of percentages against a Tron deck, but I'm not even sure that's right. I don't think I would do that right now in modern. I think I would do that if your local metagame was more fair. I don't think modern's fair enough to change a card here. I think if you want to play ley lines, I think this is where you want to be. And I think it's a good list. I think it's a very, very good list. I don't, I don't hate making this Scalding Tarn a Watery Grave. I, if you want to keep the same amount of land so that maybe you can cast a Gurmag Angler in a weird ass game through a ley line. But I think it's, I think it's solid. I think it's, I think it's where you want to be. I think, it's, I think it's a good look. So let's see. Let's send this over here. I said I think it's a good deck. So backslash host. Where are we going here? Robert Meadows. Okay, so we're heading, we're sending you guys over to a charity stream. Please check out the charity stream. Um, you know, if you've got the means, help them out. But I hope everyone has a good rest of their day. I will be back on – I'll be back tomorrow morning. So have a good one, and we'll see all of you guys tomorrow.